Hello and welcome back to Stimulus Steve. Today we're going to keep going on with our algebra exploration. I'm going to look at how to add and subtract these different like terms. So it's really important to look at the different variables and making sure that they have the same variable so that you can merge the coefficients together. If they have different variables, you can't add them together. That's the most important part with this. So let's jump on in. So these are the style of questions we're going to do on Dr. Frost. And let's jump on in. So this is Dr. Frost, like terms. And this is our 10, and this was like terms. So for your teacher, marking homework, highlighting at the top makes it so much easier to try and find where your stuff is. Right, over, question one. So we've got six X's added together. So X plus X plus X plus x plus x plus x, so that just equals 6x. Question 2, p plus p plus p, so that just equals 3p. Question 3, we have 8p plus 5p plus 4p, so that equals 17p. Question 4, 3z minus z, plus 8z. So 3 plus 8 is 11, take away 1 is 10. Question 5. We have 4y plus 5y minus 5y. This leaves us just with 4y. Number 6. We have 5x minus x minus 3x plus 4x, so that gives us 9x, or just um, 5x because we're taking it away. Number 6, Oop, that was number 6, sorry. Number 7, x plus 3x minus x, just leaves you with 3x. Go next one. Question eight six X minus X minus three X minus X. So it gives us five X, take away three X is two X, take away all that is just X. Question nine. 4x plus 14x minus 7y plus 2x. So see how there's a y here? So we group the x's. So 4x plus 14x gives us um, 18x. And then plus the 2x uh, gives us 20x. And then just take away the 7y at the end. Number 10. 2b plus 11a plus 2b plus 1. So the b is the only thing that are the same in here. So we'll go 4b. Oh, and we'll do the a's first, sorry. So we'll go 11a plus 4b plus 1. So just trying to keep it in alphabetical order. Number 11. So we've got 2q plus 4p plus 2q, plus 13. Uh, so we've got 4p, so we go 4p first, plus the 4q, plus the 13. All right, number 12, now we're getting a bit bigger, so we've got 14y, plus 13y, plus 3x, plus 9x, plus 14. So group the x's first, so 3 and 9 gives us 12, so the same as 12x, and then 14 plus 13 gives us 27, and then plus 14 on the end. Question number 13, so we've got 9a plus 11b plus 5b 
plus 4. So the 9a stays on the front. 11 plus 5 gives us 16b plus the 4. 14. So we've got 10a plus 10b minus 5a plus 2b. So that equals 10a plus 12b. Oh, hang on. So 10a minus 5a equals 5a plus 12b. Number 15. We've got 2y plus 6x plus 4x minus 9x. So 6 plus 4 is 10, minus 9 gives us just x plus 2y. Number 16. 6q minus 4q plus p plus 4. So we've got p on the front and plus 2q plus 4. 17. 10b plus 2a plus 9a minus 3a. So 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 take away 3 is 8a plus 10b. 18. So we've got 2b minus 3b plus 3b plus 6a. So we'll group the a's first. So that equals just 6a. 2 minus 3 plus 3 just leaves us to plus 2b. 19. We've got 4y squared plus 4z plus 5z plus 3y squared. So they've got the y's. So there's a 3 and a um, 4. So equals 7y squared. And then the z's gives us plus 9z. Question 20. Uh, so we've got 5x squared plus 2q power 4 plus 4x squared. Uh, I'll do the q's first. So that's q to the power of 4 plus 9x squared. 21. So we've got, oops, sorry, not z. X, we've got z squared plus 3x squared plus x cubed plus 4x squared. So this is where it gets a little bit different. So a z squared and an x cubed and an x squared are the different terms. So I would do the x cubed first because that's the most powerful thing there. So we've got that done. Then I would do x squared, so 3x squared plus, f yep, so we'll go plus 3x squared, and then I'll do the z squareds, so 1 plus 4 gives us 5 z squared. 22, so we've got 9y squared plus 7y plus 5xy squared minus 5xy squared plus 7y squared. Radio, let's do the y squareds first. So 9y squared plus 7y squared gives us 16y squared. And then I would cancel those out. So 5xy minus 5xy squared, that cancels out, and then you just got plus 7y. 23, so we've got AB squared plus 10AB minus 3B plus 6AB. So AB squared is not the same as that. AB is the same as that, and then you've got a B by itself. So let's put the B AB squared at the front. 10AB plus 6AB gives us plus 16AB, and then minus the 3B. Last one, 24, we'll go 6x squared 
plus 9y squared plus 3x squared y minus y squared minus 9x squared y. All right. So let's go through and get the y squares first. So there's, oh no, x squared. So there's an x squared by itself. So that's fine. So we've got 6x squared. Then we have a 9y squared minus a y squared. So that gives us a plus 8y squared. And then x squared y, x squared y, they're the same. So plus 3 minus 9 gives us minus 6 x squared 9. Cool. So hopefully that's giving you some insights into the different um, Dr. Frost formulas, how to use them, grouping the like terms. You need to make sure the terms have exactly the same variable set up in each one. If it doesn't have that configuration, you can't merge those together. So that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed. Give us a like and subscribe down below as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, see you next time on Steam with Steve. Adios.